So what is fuzzy logic? Well, first let's think about traditional logic. In traditional logic, something can be represented by either having a value of true, which is one, or false, which is zero. In fuzzy logic, you can be anywhere in between zero and one. So you could have something that's true, but only partially true with 0 0.7, or false, it's mostly false with 0 0.3. So let's use tap water temperature as an example. In traditional logic, you would have this represented by either being hot or cold, representing zero or one respectively. With fuzzy logic, you could have something like this, where you have a gradient from hot to cold. So you could have something that is lukewarm, very hot, slightly cold, etc., instead of just hot or cold. So why is it useful? Well, consider you have an automatic braking system in your car that can decide when to brake. Using traditional logic, it might look something like this, where you have a car in front of you that's far away or close, and there's some value in between where it switches. The car being close can either be yes or no, zero or one, and the brakes can either be on or off, again, zero or one. So in this situation, the car is far away, so it's not close, and the brakes are off as a result of this. Now in this situation, the car is now close, represented by one, and the brakes are now represented by one as on. Now, this might be a problem because the car is now applied the brakes with full pressure and you're going to slow down very quickly even though the car in front of you might not be approaching you very quickly, it might not be moving at all. And this puts huge stresses on the car, including the components like the suspension, the frame, not to mention the occupants. So instead of doing something like that, let's consider using fuzzy logic. So this is your situation and now, going from close to far, you have this gradient. And you can say, is the car close? Well, it's anywhere between zero and one, this range. And the same thing with the brakes, you can apply pressure between zero and one. So in this situation, is the car close? Well, 0 0.2, it's not very close. And as a result, the brakes, we're only gonna put slight pressure on. And in this situation, is the car close? Well, 0 0.8, it's pretty close. And as a result, the brakes, we're gonna apply fairly heavy pressure to. And this will slow us more quickly. The result of this is that you get a much smoother output depending on where the car is, and it's not just on or off for your brakes. This will put less stress on the car and the occupants. So how is it different? Well, with traditional controllers, you need to know detailed physical properties of the system, and this can be difficult. And most systems are too complex and have to be idealized to develop a traditional controller. What this means is that you don't have a full representation of the system when you design your controller. And the conditions when traditional controllers will work is usually fairly limited. Fuzzy logic controllers, on the other hand, you don't need to know much detailed knowledge of the system. And what the controller should do is determine by linguistic rules. And this is very easy to do for humans that know what the controller should do in certain situations. And if optimization tools are used like genetic algorithms, you can get away with not knowing much of anything about the system. The system also doesn't need to be reduced or idealized to develop a working fuzzy logic controller. And the conditions when fuzzy logic controllers will work are more robust because they can account for more variability in the inputs. So what is its potential? The number of applications are virtually limitless. You could have control systems like kitchen appliances. You could also have car control systems, aerospace vehicle control systems. Fuzzy logic can also do image processing, decision making, route planning, and it's still in development and testing for safety critical systems like autopilots. Although it has been tested and implemented in some small instances like small satellite attitude control. But remember with fuzzy, the sky is literally not the limit.